It's, it's great. It's great. It's a great experience. Um, just living a dream. Um, it's everything that I imagine and more. When you say more, oh, is there anything that has been kind of unexpected or surprising thus far? It's still early in the process. Of uh, no, not really. I mean, I mean, it's just been it's just been a blessing. It's been uh, it's been a great experience so far. Have you had a chance to schedule any workouts or participate in any workouts yet? Uh, no, I haven't participated in any workouts yet. Uh, I'll probably have my schedule out soon for my workouts, but uh, we haven't had a solid schedule yet. When you get a chance to be in front of these different teams, what are you hoping that they take away from those workouts that they maybe didn't see during the workouts? What are you working on this summer in order to bring your, really make a mark in the NBA? Is there, are there questions that help them about your shooting? I feel like I'm a great shooter. Um, you watch the year, I shot the ball pretty well. But, um, I mean, I'm just going to continue to perfect my craft and uh, you know, just keep my head down and keep working. So I wake up around 6 or 10, 6.30. Uh, you know, do a little bit of shower, and then I uh, got to work out around like 7. And, uh, 7, 7.15. I'm in the gym working. Depending on the day, I end up about 9 30, so I'm in there. Depending on the day, I'm going to be in the show. It's good, bro. Are you ready to come in so I show you around? Somebody stand out there, you know, we got a little nice area to chill out, hang out, you know what I'm saying?
guys together. Oh, he ain't shaking. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's gonna work. Hey, don't worry about the baskets. We will be rotating the baskets every session that we do. Rotate baskets every session. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Turn it back. Turn it back. Rush your legs. No, anything else? That's it. All right. Bell calls. No, no, no. We got bell. We got bell calls. Jordan Johnson, the ball with the player. Uh, he's a dog. He gets y'all to do things other people don't want to do. And um, he just go out there and give everything he got every day on the court. I just feel like it's where I grew up from. Uh, and then from South Carolina, Virginia. I mean, not many people really make it out. But, uh, so, I mean, just growing up in that atmosphere, I mean, yeah, just really had to grind and stay focused. There was a lot of distractions growing up. So, um, I mean, that was just the main thing. Uh, I just see so many other people that had the talent, but didn't make it out because there were so many different things. So, once I feel like I, I, I had the talent to make it out, uh, I definitely see that came to the game. Just kept my head down, kept working, and kept my circle tight. Uh, I want to say I shape my game around anybody. I feel like uh, I just try to be the best Kelvin Johnson I can be on and off the court. I don't feel like I just I try to be like anybody. You know, I try to play like any player. I just feel like I try to be the best player I can be, the best individual I can be. So I, mean, I think that uh, I mean, of course, like you growing up, you look at the Kobe's. Now you look at the Kawhi the Jimmy Butler's. Just players that play hard is all they got. But as far as like trying to be like any other. Um, I feel like uh, at some point I feel like I was underrated in high school. I mean, I feel like kind of my last year was kind of like my really, really breakout year. I felt like I really like shook everybody, shook everybody up. And, uh, I mean, I made the McDonald's guy, I made Jordan Brown, I made uh, the Hoops on it. So, I mean, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people didn't really talk to me, but I feel like I got the job done. I feel like I did. I did what I was supposed to do. I went out there and had a lot of people up and got buckets. I was just a dog last year. Uh, I
first workout. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cody and sit on my kid in the zar. Hit a few licks with my dogs, we marvin. Caught a few tricks on my line, they slaughter. Girl on the girl, if they eat, that's a topic. Thought she would choose. I believe in privacy. Yeah. That's what I believe. I mean, you look long like, bro. He don't doesn't have a social media right like, no. now. And I'm verified. Okay? So I want you to kind of get familiar with what we're doing in choreography. So he kind of knows that we're going to add a couple pieces. Um, the goal is to do it. You know, Kentucky did survive. You know, we were probably smack Virginia Tech this year. Oh, you guys played that? What? We, we almost smacked them at their crib last year. Forgot. That's last year. This year was a different year. Y'all scared to play us, Coach Cass said. We was ducking. No. We was ducking nothing. We were supposed to play them a whole man away. Coach Cass said, I don't want to You should have not. I don't want to come to play. I'm not going to play y'all at y'all crib. We played y'all at y'all crib? So? <laughs> Look, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, y'all supposed to be the dog, huh? We is. Yeah, I came in. What's up? Little messer came in, came into uh, and took an L. What? <laughs> came in and smacked you. Yeah. You crazy? And took an L. Quick. You good? Listen to this though. We got like 
it doesn't matter if you had XMO or not. On Frontier, all the shit's are the same. All the labor was the same. It was terrible. <laughs> I'm being sick. Oh what my now? god. So what did Jet do? What's huh? Jet? Jet's facing my mom now. You be calling her mom watching that thing then. Yeah, but I I didn't think she took it literally. <laughs> she told me <laughs> she told me what I can't can't do. That's good. That's what she's talking about. Yeah. Uh -huh. She basically keeps I am she keeps you from hurting yourself. <laughs> I'm wrong. If you do everything she says, we're gonna look at 180 million like four and a half. Yes. Yes. I'm wrong. Look, I'm gonna say it like this. Shut up. Cool, I'm gonna say it like this. You don't have to listen to me. You just have to listen to them too. You listen to them too, we're good. You still gotta listen to them. Got builder this morning. A lot of people probably sleep. Got to hear Got builder, and we'll be back later. Uh, one stop nutrition. We're gonna get some protein shake so we can recover. Got a big day ahead of us. You don't need them. These are healthy, right? No. no really. You should have a shake instead of a vegan. These are the cookies. No, these are the cookies. Why do you always like cookies? Less than one gram protein cookies. Yeah. And our protein shake, about to go. Some apple sauce, some covering in. Get ready for the next workout. What you got on, man? Smell a little I like the green here. 
heels looking all spiffy grinch. Aww. Looking Aww. like a looking like a Christmas tree. <laughs> At Toronto, at Toronto, make it past the bus that went in. I feel like the bus could beat the Warriors because the Warriors ain't got nobody to guard. Oh, uh, they ain't got nobody to guard you. Yeah. The boys gonna turn it back into the free But the young is, I mean, I don't think. I don't think they're gonna be able to guard everybody. Like, they can't guard everybody. Especially with Katie and Katie. Katie will guard Yanni. But, like, who gonna guard Clay? We're yeah, gonna guard Curry. Curry's going dumb right now. He's going dumb. But when Durant comes back, that's Curry go, goes away. Nah, Curry don't go away. Uh huh. Think about it. Draymond's going dumb. Who's guarding Draymond? Hey, Lopez. All that, uh, all that changes when uh Lopez. That's not happening. All that changes when he comes back. Nah. You might not even come back. For real. <laughs>
be a team will be here, and we're looking forward to seeing what he can do. I don't know, I don't really feel no pressure. I feel like it's more like, I mean, you're just adjusting to a different lifestyle now. So, I mean, I don't, I don't feel no pressure. I feel like I'm doing something I love. Like, I love basketball, I love doing this. So, I mean, I'm already feel pressure. Like, I've been doing it all my life. It's not about four or five years old. So, now nah, it's not really pressure. Just going out there, stand for me, so just do what you do. Just go out there and compete without the people who play your game.
long as you don't have in between. Uh, pretty much everything is two days. Two days in between. That's perfect. These are all teams that are drafted that, don't draft, that can draft you. Steve did exactly what he was supposed to do. Uh, he got you in front of people that, that can draft you. Anywhere as high as eight. It's on you. Ain't on nobody else. Go in there with kill mode. Kill them on the kill them on the top. What you doing there, dog? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Show that million dollar smile. Show them see it. Hey, hey, hey. Show that million dollar smile, dog. Show that million dollar smile. It's a wrap. They can't. They can't say no. Because the work is going to be. The work is going to be on the floor. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Once they see the work, it's a done deal. Yeah. All right, baby. Oh, All right. Uh, preferably drive night. That's what the suit is being fitted for. Or for future references. <laughs> the suit may be used for other reasons. I'm Mackenzie. I'm with a company called Alba Designs. We make all custom suits and casuals. We've dressed over 1,100 professional athletes and entertainers. Um, we've dressed John Wall. We've dressed. Um, Anthony Davis, Victor Oladipo, um, our biggest client is Magic Johnson, you know, a lot of people, a lot of sports, and the sports never stop, so we're always busy, for sure. Share? Yes, so I want to do... I want to do something that's never been done before. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That, now, now we talking. <laughs> I like it. Like this is my third or fourth NBA draft, and I've seen. Really? Yeah, I've seen like the lining and like yeah. everything else, but I want to do something different. Yeah. I said we get a cheetah coat. What? <laughs> I think you should just let her do her job. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'll get a suit back. Oh, her purse like is that. cute. That was the top one. You get a suit? You get a suit like that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, my God. Did you, did you have a Trey Young look last year? With the shorts? No, we've done shorts. Yeah, we'll do the long. This is Miss Johnson right here. Hello. Mama Johnson, she made everything happen. Lindsay, I'm Rochelle Johnson. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Mm -hmm. First idea was well, to do a reversible jacket. Okay. So you would have like your Kentucky she blue, like two, this one, two couple of Or even this one, or then this one. Then this one. This one I like a lot. I mean, it's like clear with blue, but it's not like, like obviously. Dress and then maybe like halfway down the right carpet, you take it off and flip it inside out, and it's like a completely different jacket. So I kind of want it to be like, you know, you're moving on to your college days, you're moving on to like NBA, so it's like a transition. So I want it to be like a moment where you like flip it, and it's like a whole new jacket. Yeah, that would be cool. Like get two copies. No, a completely different pattern on the inside, or just like a classic white tuxedo blazer. And then just have it be like clean slate. Yeah, no. yeah, like a clean, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. going from this to like white with just like a, a black band. Yeah, that, I like that. I like Or that. I like this one a lot too. Or my other idea is I found this and it kind of reminded me of like your uniforms with like the checkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So another yeah. idea would be to have this kind of be like an overlay over the jacket. And then underneath, you take it off, and then yeah. underneath is just the plain white. Plain white, yeah. So I, I definitely like the plain white idea with the black pants. Yeah, for sure. I really think that like it's gonna be a moment. Like yeah. either if you take it off, yeah, people and, or you talk about or you flip it. it. Yeah. 
So it would be like he'd walk and then, you know, when he like felt like it was the right time, he would like reverse or take it off. Right. I'm and that's something we would off. like rehearse. Obviously, we would practice it. Right. I like that idea, but I think definitely a takeoff versus. Okay. Well, we always could do it. like something under the lapel. That way, the lapel is the same. This could be like a no lining, so it's a thinner layer. Okay. And then the lapel of the underneath one could show, and then he takes it off. Okay. And then it would be, we were thinking just a plain white jacket. Okay. Like very classic, like almost like James Bond looking tuxedo jacket. I did bring a snakeskin one. Now you're talking about the purse. <laughs> oh, you know, the snakeskin with them gators on them. <laughs> them gators. So silly. Um. Mm. Um, I'm liking this. Yeah. These are fun to me. I mean, well, it just to me speaks to Kelvin's personality. Which one to get? The snake skin? No. These, this kind you of stuff. Man, the Connor's on my feet. Uh, I think speaks to Kelvin's personality as far as being kind of pop up. Do you like any of these? Is anything like sticking out to you? I like, I like oh. this one. I like, I do that like one the checkerboard. Too. I like the checkerboard. Too. I like that one too. I don't really like this one. Okay. I like this one. But you know that snake skin. <laughs> I feel like that would be too loud, like, too loud though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be bad, but like, is there someone else on the carpet that's not the family to Gucci. just like hold it? Okay. All right, Kelvin. So I what? might do some Gucci's, some blue Gucci's. Okay, so which some one? Blue Vuittons. Yeah, I can shop and find something that matches the fabric. So which, which one? I kind of like this kind of similar is good for Kentucky. And then you shed it and it's white, but what yeah, speaks this to one, you? You like, you like the splat one, right? Yeah, yeah this I one? Splat, no, 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 I like that one. I like that one. Which one do you like? I like that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then what though can Chris... All right, so just want to go over your schedule after Pro Day, which you did a great job yesterday. Kind of look at the map of the weeks coming up before the draft. Basically do about like six or seven workouts. Do our first workout with Boston um, the day after the day next Monday. Then from there, spend a couple days in New York and work with Don before you go to Orlando or Miami. And then we'll finish up with uh, Atlanta, the Wizards, and Minnesota. Basically, this covers everybody from like 7 to 14 and 15. And uh, you know, we'll be in a great spot come draft night. All right, so what about, like, because they said everybody leaves the fifth. So what do I do about that? Yeah, so once everybody leaves the, the house in the fifth and Phoenix, you won't come back. When you leave the twenty sixth here, you're not coming back to Phoenix. So you'll go from Boston, spend a couple days in New York. I'll pack all my bags. Yeah. Well what I would say is pack two bags and then for your flight and then Jet will pack everything else up and put it our house and ship it to wherever you're going after that. And then we'll go to draft Tuesday, the uh, the 18th. We'll spend two days basically. So my last day is next Tuesday. Yeah. Well, next Monday you'll fly out Monday. Yeah. So and then we'll get to the draft on Tuesday. You'll have some media, some appearances that you get paid for to do around the draft, and then draft is like the night. Eleven. Miami has 13th. Orlando has 16th. 